Hello, my name is Daniel Gorton, and I am creating a video today for those of you who are trying to set up your sling box, but converting it from an HDMI signal into a component signal. This can be kind of tricky, but once you know how to do it, it works flawlessly. I have a friend in South Korea who uses my sling box and we share cable at home and he pays for half the bill. It's a great way to get cable wherever you want in the world. All of my stuff is already set up behind the TV, so I can't take it out and show you all of the pieces, but I can explain to you how it works, and I have a picture, a diagram, to show you how that works. So it just depends on what your needs are. I have an Apple TV, a soundbar, and an Xbox. Some have none of these things. Maybe you have all of these things and more. This video should help you if you have nothing or if you have more. So this is how you do it without an Xbox with no Xbox. So you have your cable box and you have the wall over here which has the connector for the coax cable. So you're gonna plug your coax cable into the wall and then your coax cable is gonna go to the in port on the cable box. And that cable box is gonna be plugged into the power and it's gonna have an out HDMI. So you wanna have an HDMI cable that goes out of your cable box into the HDMI splitter so that you can get two signals coming out of the HDMI splitter. And the HDMI splitter also has power. You're going to need a lot of places to plug in a power. I recommend a good power strip. And so what's going to happen is once you get in the HDMI into the splitter, it's going to signal it out into two HDMIs. So it's going to be it's going to be out here and out here. One's going to go in an eight, another HDMI cable to your TV, which is going to be plugged in to the power, that's your local TV, and it's gonna be the in HDMI on your local TV. And then the other one is gonna go into the converter, which is gonna convert it into the component video that you need. The There are no sling boxes right now that do 1080p. They only go up to 1080i, so the best that you can do is the component video. And the converter is going to have a power cable that's going to turn it on and off and so the HDMI comes into the converter and then what it happens is it has like a red blue and green with a red and white for audio cables there's five of them and they come out of the converter so they go in HDMI and they come out component and then they go into your sling box which has also has a power cable and your sling box I have an M1 or an M2, I can't remember which one, but they basically do the same stuff. And it has a Wi-Fi, you connect it to the Wi-Fi, and it goes to the internet, and then you can access your cable anywhere in the world that you have a Wi-Fi connection. So this is actually how I have mine set up at home with my Xbox. Now everything is exactly the same here all the way until the HDMI splitter. It's also the same here on the left side with the converter and the sling box up to the Wi-Fi and the internet, just like in our previous model here on the left. The difference is at home, I only had three HDMI inputs on my local TV, which raised a problem because I had an Xbox, I had an Apple TV, I had a sound bar, and I had a cable box that I needed to plug into it, which is four. I only had three inputs. So what I did was, this is still all the same, but this splitter goes out two ways. Well, one way is an HDMI into the local Xbox. And then out of the local Xbox is an HDMI into the local TV. So the signal basically goes from the cable box through the splitter two ways, one to the sling box, one to the Xbox, through the Xbox, which can do cable TV, through into the late local TV. Now what is really cool is that I just individually plugged in the Apple 4K TV into the local TV. And then what I have here is I have the sound bar, which is an HDMI, HDMI arc into the TV. And what the HDMI arc does is it does the audio for the Apple TV, the Xbox, and the cable box. I hope this video has helped you out. Here's a quick video of the model again for your viewing and understanding needs.
Please leave a comment if you are stuck and you can't figure it out. Good luck.